chiffon pronounced like the material and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel i make videos all about health beauty and fashion and today i'm going to do an updated foundation routine for you guys for my dry sensitive and eczema prone skin i did a video a while ago and you guys loved it so i'm just doing an updated one and then i'll also get dressed and show you my outfit so um, if you're interested in watching how I do my makeup for my dry sensitive eczema prone skin so I don't have anything on right now and I want to make sure that I use products that do not irritate my skin. Um, so these are some things that you may want to try if you have dry sensitive eczema prone skin. So if you're interested in watching that, keep on watching. All right, guys, so first things first, let me take this sleepy tie out. So I do have a U-part wig on, y'all. So um, if you're new to my, if you're not new to my channel, you already know that. If you're liking this video already, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. So I wear the sleepy tie to bed. So I literally um, just put it on when I got in the shower just to hold my hair up. And as you guys see, like it gives it a little bounce. Like I literally had this in for like 10 minutes and um, it gave it a little bounce at the end, which I love. And it like gives me a um, fresh blowout look. If I leave it in before going to bed, it'll definitely have more volume. I have a video, I'll link it below of my initial, re initial review of this sleepy tie. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. So yeah, this is not a focus on hair video though. So I'm gonna do my makeup. So I am going to prime my skin with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I love this. And then I'm gonna do my foundation, which is the Studio Fix Fluid um, in the NW43. I've been using this forever. But let me go wash my hands. So um, I just touched my hair and I actually put a little bit of sulfurate on my edges and like I don't want to touch my face with some of that on my hand. So be right back. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. I actually put the Tatcha primer on. As you can see, like I kind of look a little bit like whitish, like, like that cast, but it's actually not too bad. So I really love this primer. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. And um, yeah, I really love Tatcha products. So now I'm gonna just um, use my beauty blender to apply the foundation. So I've been using this MAC foundation ever since I started wearing foundation. Like, um, like what works for me works for me. And when I find out what works for me, like I stick to it, we go together real bad. <laughs> So now I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer and Biscuit. So I will put everything now that I'm using in the description box below. So I've been using this for years as well. I feel like my technique is a little bit different. Like I don't use as much product anymore um, because like, I guess I just don't need it. And I was just basically wasting product. So, and also I do, I no longer like put it on my nose directly so um what i'll do is i'll blend out everything and whatever's left over product i'll like just dab a little bit of it on my nose all right y'all and this is important for the under eye part like i no means am i a makeup artist but i feel like this really works for me to help with creasing and to make it smooth underneath um, I, I guess historically didn't spend a lot of time blending and I feel like now I do. So I just pat it like a whole bunch of times in one place that is blending, not just like wiping it everywhere. Like you literally got to pat it in the same place. So that helps with creasing and then also, um, blending to make it look more natural. Next, I am powdering my face with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter um, Powder. And this is in color um, Banana, and I'm gonna put this under my eye. So what I'm going to do is dab it inside of here. Y'all see that? 
and then I'm going to dab it on um, my little washcloth I have here so I'm not overusing too much product um, because having dry skin like you don't want too much um, drying products because that'll like um, not really feel good and it may give you like a cakey feeling. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing with my beauty blender, dip it into the cashew color of the Fenty Pro Filter powder, and then um, powder the rest of my face that I did not put that lighter color concealer on. So next I'm going to use this beautiful bronzer from Becca and this is in, in Panama Sun. And then I'm gonna use the KVD 20 brush. Y'all ignore the top, I accidentally broke it. And use this to bronze myself. So instead of doing like a, a contour with another cream concealer, I'm just gonna use um, this bronzer to bring some color back to my face because we all have like, you know, different colors on our face and it's just, this is just bringing the color back. Okay, so you guys just seen me do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil and I get it in the color ebony and then i'll also use the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel to make my brows look um stand up i guess <laughs> and then i did a very thin um eyeliner look i used the Too faced better than sex because i'm not wearing lashes i haven't been wearing lashes lately i've just been doing mascara so i'm going to do my mascara in a bit but i'll let the eyeliner dry down even though it dries pretty quick but before I do my mascara, I'm going to use this new product that I got from Merit Beauty. So thank you to Merit for um, gifting me these products. So I actually got three products. So the first product is the Beverly Hills Flesh Balm Cheek Color that I will use. Like it's a mauve color. I love mauves. Like, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. So I'm about to use that. And then I have two lip products. So this is the um, Shade Stick Tinted Lip Oil in color All Natural. Another mauve, y'all. I love mauves. And I actually have this in a clear color. Let me see if I have it. Okay, so here it is. This is it in Bel Air. Like, I love this. I love the formula because it's very lightweight. It's non-sticky and it just amplifies, amplifies my natural lip color. So I'm excited to try this one. Look at that. The color is beautiful, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to put something on my lips. And then um, the next thing I got was this uh, signature lip, lightweight lipstick in Millennial. The packaging is beautiful but this is the lipstick and y'all guess what color mauve <laughs> so i think i'm going to use the lip oil today um just to give myself some moisture to my lips because i do have eczema on my lips um too but they're doing really well right now so i'm going to use this blush so you can do it two ways you can rub your finger over and dab it on your face or you can just literally drag this across. I think I'm going to pat it and see what happens. Actually, let me do it on my finger first and see. Oh, it's very creamy. That's the color. Um, so maybe I will just pat it on my face and see what happens. Because I don't want to remove what I have there already. So maybe I'll just do my finger and see. What does it look like, y'all? 
And Mara Beauty is, y'all, it's like melt, melting, like in a good way. That means it's going to um, blend really well. But um, Mara Beauty is like minimalist beauty, which I love. Oh, yeah, I love this color. So minimalist makeup. So you can grab and go. But as you can see today, it's not minimalistic. It's, you know, full glam. But that doesn't mean you can't wear their products. Wow. I really love this color, actually. It's giving me a dewy look, which I love. Oh my goodness. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you guys can see. How can I make this better for y'all to see? <laughs> but this color is beautiful. Maybe if I step back. As you, you guys can see like that little gloss there. I love that. Okay, let me do the other side. Oh yeah, you can see it now. Mm -hmm. Like it's like natural. See how hair, none. And then hair, some. Ooh, don't pay attention to my edges, y'all. I ain't do my hair yet. Wow, I really love this like dewy finish and it's like perfect for the summer. So it looks so natural. Um, and that's what I was going for beautiful okay so let me do my mascara so i've been using the um lancome uh products so first i'm going to do the lancome booster xl so it's basically a primer that you put on your lashes it is white and then after i apply this i'm going to apply the lancome um, mascara i don't know which one this is, but I'll link it below, y'all. So guys, as I'm letting the primer um, dry off, I decided to just put some more blush on and apply the blush straight from here just to see like, will my makeup be disturbed underneath? And it's not disturbing it. And it's literally like melting on. So it's kind of like my skin is warming it up. So I don't even have to like swipe it. I'm literally just dabbing it. And then what I'm going to do is take the beauty blender and like just um, blend it out so it looks good. Guys, so look, like I don't even need to put on lashes today. I'm just going to wear the mascara and I think my eyes look beautiful. So I'm tempted to put this blush on my lips <laughs> because I love the color so much and I really like the formula. But today I am going to use the Shade Stick um, Tinted Lip Oil in the All Natural just to see what it'll look like because it does match the blush, honestly. Oh, this formula. Mm. I love it. It feels just like that clear one. Ugh. Guys, I love this formula so much because like I said, I have eczema on my lips too. So I don't like like heavy things. And also I could just tell when certain things are drying and I know like they're going to start chipping or like cracking. And I don't got time for that. That's why I stopped wearing lipstick, lipstick and stuff like that for a long time. I'm applying too much on actually, but I just love the formal. It just feels good. I love this applicator. And I didn't even put a, a liner on. I love this. I'm not going to put a liner on. I'm just going to put my beauty blender around the edges of my lips. That has like some of that excess product on there. Y'all. Isn't that color beautiful? 
Like, so Mara Beauty is all about minimalist makeup. And I think, like, I really like that. Like, it's minimalistic. It's, like, neutral colors. And I think it's so pretty. Hopefully, you guys are getting still good some good sunlight. I don't know if I should move the camera or not. But look at that blush. Like, just looking at it from this way, the blush looks so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So pretty. All right, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to um, put my hair down a little bit. Like, I'm going to just put some um, gel. One second. First of all, what am I even talking about? First, I need to push some finishing spray. So, it is a summertime. So, it is hot outside. So, I am going to use an Urban Decay makeup setting spray to lock everything in. And I let that dry down. But what I also like to do is spray on this um, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. So this is tried and true, um, basically cult favorite. I really like it because it, it brings moisture back to, back, back to my, girl, why am I tripping today? It brings moisture back to my skin and i don't actually feel dry at all right now because i only use a little bit of powder and i use a lot of like liquidy things so my skin isn't too dry so what i'm going to do is still use the fix plus spray to set my skin or my makeup mm. it just feels so good and I like to carry this with me too because it just feels good when I spray it on my skin throughout the day if I feel like anything is getting dry. It looks good, right? Back up a little bit. Okay, the lighter is better here. So now I'm going to get dressed and actually, no, I'm going to do my hair really quick. Be right back. Mm -hmm. I'm F-R-E-E. -E. <laughs> Do you guys know that song? It's like stuck in my head right now. But anywho, this is my full look. I'll do a video on the side, but this is the finished makeup, guys. Like, it looks so beautiful. Let me stand that back so you guys can see. So this is the full makeup. The blush is looking beautiful. I love this natural um, glam look. I'm all for it. And I really like the natural, like the dewy look. It doesn't look shiny. It just looks very dewy. And your girl looks like her skin looks healthy. So I'm loving it. So for my hair, I just had that um, sleepy tie in for 10 minutes when I went in the shower and gave my ends a little curl. curl. But for the rest of my hair, it's kind of like straight. That's the way I wanted it. And I'm loving it. So for my edges, I use the Carrot Hair um, edge tamer. I linked it on my Amazon store. I really like it. It pushes my edges back. I um, don't really put too much effort into taming my edges, so I only just use like that to lay them down a bit. And that's it. So as for my outfit, so these sunnies, they're super cute. I just have them on the top of my head. I'm not going to wear them on my face because I don't like wearing sunnies when I wear makeup. I just don't like the filling. But they're, I don't even know where, like, the brand or anything like that. I got them on the, at the strip, when I went to the strip district in Pittsburgh, and they were, like, $7. I just bought them from a vendor on the street. They're so cute. And then um, my necklace says Professor on it. It's from Carbon Copy. I also have one that says Pharmacist, so I'll link it down below. It's so cute. Um, so minimalist kind of makeup, minimalist makeup, and then minimalist jewelry. I just have some pearl, pearl earrings in. And then my top is so cute, y'all. So this is from Amazon. I got it in a size medium. Of course, I linked it in my Amazon store. So check out the link below to my storefront. And it, it intentionally has like one side that's long, one side that's shorter. There is an option where both sides are like this length. But I just got this one. I just wanted to see like what that would look like because it was just a little different. Um, and then my um, bag I have is from Scott, the moon bag. And then the shorts I have on 
are from Age. I love these shorts. They have pockets. It's a like um, cinch and great waist. So I'll do a video here too. But yeah, I'm loving this outfit. And then my shoes are from Amazon too. Of course, I'll link them. Let me give you guys a little close up. These are the shoes, y'all. I ordered a size eight um, and the bottom, this is the bottom. So they're very comfortable to walk in. Um, if anyone cares, I'm 5'3". <laughs> so um, the heel height is about 3.75. So they're pretty comfortable. But yeah, this is the look, y'all. I'm loving my makeup and my skin feels good. It's not dried out. It, it just feels very natural. I don't feel icky, cakey. So yeah, I'm really loving it. But yeah, this is my look for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you, hopefully it wasn't too long for you guys. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you're subscribed to my channel, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, please subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace and love.